Howdy, everybody. That's right. Top of a mountain. Top of the mountain to you. Rockstar. I'm here with the uh, one and only Elliot Zace. E Z. And what he just did this morning was not so easy. Um, not for a Florida boy. That's right. I decided to drag uh, drag his ass to the top of a mountain. We're sitting uh, at the peak of 10420 out here in Guardsman Pass. It's kind of the top of a place I love to come to. This is one of my uh, sort of serene areas away from the hustle and bustle. Behind me is uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon, Park City off here. And uh, he wanted to see what real hiking was like. So in the last, wait, when did you get here? Monday. Monday. <clears throat> Monday morning. Monday morning from zero elevation to 10,500. And, and, and he's feeling it. I thought walking on the beach was hard. Yeah, it's really a challenge. So uh, Elliot manages, uh, well, more than that, and really, <laughs> does a lot of stuff for a company in uh, Melbourne called Slugabug, which has been around... 1982. 1982. It's, uh, it's almost as old as me. Almost. It's so close. And you've been, you've been with him, what? Six years. Six years. And mainly doing the turf aspect or give me a little background so I was hired on uh, originally as a senior service manager to uh, focus on the lawn department mm -hmm. and kind of get that up to speed and uh, that morphs into everything everything yeah. anything and everything yeah so pest control lawn termite tree shrub mm-hmm all of it. Everything. So, what you, now, one thing I know about Elliot is uh, he, he does a lot of research, takes his time, um, really weighs out pros and cons of a lot of things. When you're going through those processes, choosing, do you do this, well, I, I'm going to talk about products, but choosing products, do you do the same type of thing? Like, if you diagnose lawn issues, how much time would you take on something like that? And what do you, how do you go through a process on saying, well, here's what we're going to do and coming up with your plan? It depends on, well, if I don't know what it is. Yes, then I'm going will, that way. I will use, uh, I'll initially use Google mm -hmm. to try to describe what the issue is. So let's say it's a, it's a leaf spot on a palm. Mm -hmm. So I will, you know, type in leaf spot on a palm and I'll start digging through um, to find out what it is. Once I've, once I've figured out what it is, then I'll start to research um, Let's say it's a disease. Mm -hmm. I'll research the disease and I'll understand, you know, why the disease happens, how it develops. Um, if it's a chemical control or a product control, then I'll start uh, doing my research on active ingredients mm -hmm. um, to figure out which active ingredient is going to work best to, to solve that issue. Um, I put a lot of time into it. Yeah, you do. It's good. A lot of time. It's really good. And the, the beauty of it, you know, and I've told, I've told our, our managers about this too, and even our technicians, is you learn so much by researching one, you know, one issue. Mm -hmm. The amount of knowledge that you gain just by researching, you know, you learn more than you thought you would learn. That's right. If you just take the time to read through, because, you know, the answer is not always right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. So, but you learn so much in that entire process. Yeah. So. What do you think the right now? What do you think the biggest issue is facing this lawn care industry? Oh, I would have to say the the notion that our industry has this negative impact on water. Mm -hmm. I would say that's the biggest misconception of all. Um, you know that we somehow contribute to the poor water quality. Um, yeah. Yeah. Professionally. Yeah. It's you know. It is, a, it is a big, that is a big issue. It's something I talk about a lot, a lot, um, because it's a big concern. And, and really, I think that, so there's a lot of people who, who are going to watch this that are um, homeowners or do-it-yourselfers. And um, there is a mentality that more is better. And um, it just, it's not. It's not. And, you know, you have to think about when you're applying chemicals or fertilizers or whatever, there's, there's label rates and there's actually the ability to go less than on some things, but you don't really ever want to go more than. And, and I keep drawing this, this um, sort of metaphor about if you went to the gas pump 
and you knew your car ran well on on gasoline, you wouldn't put one and a half times as much gas in it than it can hold. It can only do a certain amount. So the rest is just waste. And from a professional standpoint, you know, we are not necessarily heavily regulated, but we're regulated and we have to pass, you know, tests and application um, methods, the whole thing to know that we're putting down the way the labels are designed and nothing more because, uh, you know, if you're in the industry for a long time, from a business standpoint, it's wasteful to do anything more than that. And you see diminishing returns. So, yep. you know, professionally, fertilizer companies get, get a lot of flack about that. And, and yeah, Elliot's from Florida, and so he deals with blackouts down there. And, you know, there's, there's obviously all the places that are moving up the eastern seaboard that are dealing with uh, some nitrogen bans, phosphorus, things like that. And, and it affects more over the professionals than the homeowners. And um, so we're, easy, we're we're regulated a lot easier than homeowners are. But yes, I like to liken grass to the human body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you, you know, if you overfeed, if you overapply, it's almost the equivalent of overeating. Yeah. And so, you know, if you overeat, you gain a lot of weight, um, and then it has all these negative side effects if if you mm -hmm. let it get out of control. That's exactly right. And so. Doing the whole more is better, you know. Well, if it's if it should be one ounce, then two is going to kill them quicker. And That's right. It doesn't it doesn't work that way. And when I first started 18 years ago in this industry, um, I don't remember who told me, but they had you know I'd learned that over fertilization is almost like doing steroids, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you know it looks good at first and it may you know it may get you the result that that you're looking for, but over time. The negative impact that it has on your body, and in this case, the negative impact that it has on turf, um, you actually end up in this reverse cycle. That's right. Where you start deteriorating grass, and so logically you would think, well, it's going down, so I need to do more, and then you just perpetuate that cycle, that never-ending cycle of, you know, you need more, you need more, but. That's not the way it is. No, it's not the way it is. And, and it's it, not the way nature was intended to be. No, I mean, you know? it, this is why we're up here right now. Yeah. You know, when you Nothing look out. Nothing here got fertilized. No, it, everything <laughs> not here. synthetically. You know, we've got grasses and flowers and lakes and streams, and we've had a particularly dry summer up here, and, you know, the grass is still kind of holding, which I was really surprised about, actually, to see how, how it was up here right now. Yeah. Um, and I actually, I'm going to go back out. You can see in the distance, this, all this smoke that you see out here, this is not normal for us. This is all from the, um, the California fires that are going on right now. It's blowing through. It's causing a pretty, pretty major, um, major impact. This is actually the clearest it's been in the last maybe two weeks. So it's good to be up here. Um, but you know, back to what Elliot was saying that the point of, of, of like the steroids and likening grass to the human body, really, if you understand that the soil is the digestive system, you know, grass does not have one. Um, all it can do is basically respirate and grow and everything else has to happen in the soil and that's the digestive zone. So we, everything that you're feeding in there is either going to, uh, it's going to be feeding bacteria to help the plant. It's going to be, um, volatizing into the air. Uh, it's really just a measure of that material that you put out is going actually into the plant. Um, and depending on where you are, what your humidity is like, your heat indexes, all these different things can can actually change what your uptake is. <laughs> and so, you know, this is why more and more people are going to a carbon fertility method or using carbon components in fertilizers to try to slow that release down um, the volatility index more than anything else. Because all it does is just kind of, you know, hold things a little bit longer. And that's what we've seen over years and years is, is that carbon portion is important um, to just keep bringing it in, helps with the control, helps open up the soil more, you know, you get all these other benefits. So it's called building a good foundation. That's right. Yeah. You got to do it. That's all it is. Any words yeah. of wisdom you want to share with people out there? Words of wisdom. Oh man. I don't know if we have enough time. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is going to be really good. Don't ever go from Florida to Utah and then hike 10,000 feet up in the air. Mm. If John says it's a small hike. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, w I would, you know, from an from a, from a industry standpoint, mm -hmm. I would say 
learn learn what you're doing mm. learn learn dig into it educate yeah yeah i mean read read your labels and really really get to know what these products are capable of doing and why mm -hmm. you're doing what you're what you're doing and you know have a have a plan of attack you know we we change up our lawn care program every two months mm -hmm. so every two months we're a uh, a six time a year uh application service florida it's it's year round we never stop um but we focus on improving the soil quality improving the root system and then leaf tissue mm -hmm. so we our program is kind of designed from the bottom up instead of a top down you know just spray it with fertilizer That's and right. go and um you know and that it took a while you know even for me with as much research as i do and as long as i've been in the industry you know it it's changed so much over the last 18 years that mm -hmm. i've that i've been uh that i've been in this industry um but just really getting getting deep into it and yes. when, when you get deep into it I mean, you could almost make magic happen yeah it and seems it's like it. you know and it's awesome. The customers are happy and, you know, you feel good about what you do when you're not spinning your wheels. And, mm -hmm. you know, I don't believe in putting a Band-Aid on anything, mm -hmm. um, which is why I do so much research because I don't like to just go out and, you know, just spray something on it and hope that it gets better. Yep. You know, I like to find out why it's doing what it's doing, um, you know, and it's worked. You know, we have a... A very very good lawn care program mm -hmm. probably one of the best in our areas and you know our uh, our reputation is very good it's good in our area yeah it's really good so well you've got a pretty good reputation all over the state it's been around yeah 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 we're just known for being awesome sometimes it's just being awesome <laughs> it's not that we don't make mistakes yeah and we do but it's you know, how else you learn yeah, mistake just turns into experience. That's it. Yeah. Good experience. All right, that's it. We're signing off. I'm gonna drag his ass back down now. We got it. We got to head down, down that. And he's so excited to get to back to like yeah. more manageable air. So my heart has finally settled. It only took an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time I'm bring a snorkel. Yeah, that's it. So Something. I can breathe better. Yeah, you just bring up a bottle of Florida air with you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on a some, water some or an air bottle. Some delicious FLO2. Yeah. <laughs> so keep watching. Keep watching John. He's a good guy. Yeah, whatever. All right. I will see you all guys real all right, guys. soon. Bye-bye.